I was doing some work with a company and it was a fairly significant engagement around the culture change at the top of the, with the senior team. And it was the first, we had two day offsite and I was trying to figure out. So with any team, it's when you can, the, you can be with them a whole day and there may be one or two moments that actually, if you can figure out what's going on, put a voice to it and create a kind of resonance around it. it. It has great meaning for the, and this organization, I was talking about some con- some concept and someone asked one idea and I'm like, yeah, that's interesting. And then someone said, yeah, about this idea. And at the end of three comments, I had no idea what we're talking about. And, and I felt like I was on a ship just spinning the wheel. And I'm like, I just have to tell you all, I have no idea what we're talking about anymore. And is this common? And someone said, yeah, it's kind of like in the movie Up, where it's like, swirl, swirl, we're always just going to the next thing. And it's a way of not addressing what's going on in the moment. So this became kind of a metaphor. and, And the CEO ended up, and when we came back from the retreat, he would bring to his meetings the up dog. So he got a, a stuffed animal, the up dog, put it in the center of this big conference table and then had a bag of little squirrels. And if someone started getting tangential, he would literally throw a squirrel at them. And, you know, it, it's something that really helped this team to get more focused, more intentional. I, I worked with them, I think, three and a half, four years ago. The, the leadership team, a year later, we had done some assessments. They had made significant positive change through metrics that engagement survey that just happened to coincide with the engagement that I had done and done with another coach as well. And they were at 100 today. They're at 600. So they're stock. So it's certainly in leading better. You could say there's many other factors that played in, but I would say being a better leader, a better leadership team and knowing how to work in a more focused, intentional way allowed them to be a much more uh, effective company and to grow in a way that was pretty significant. And it was fun, you know, so we'd get together and squirrels are flying around and it it wasn't all heavy and, you know, you need to do this or that. There was a playful way of being more effective. Which seems to be central to leadership. You know, the more that I, even as the CEO of Third Wave, just this small company, right? Like the more levity and playfulness and um, fun that you can bring into a, a work dynamic or a work environment, the easier and more flowy things seem to become um, because there's not as much attachment to, let's say, the outcome. And there's more of a focus on how are we just being present with the mm-hmm. moment and enjoying it. And and so often we're sort of conditioned to think that like work needs to be difficult. We need to sacrifice for it. It has to be stressful. It has to be challenging. And while that is certainly true at times, it really is a mindset shift in many ways to be able to choose to, so, to open up to something that's just not so difficult I, yeah. in many ways. And and I would say that there's the energy when coaching, when working with teams, especially, I call it infotainment. You know, there's a way where you're sharing information, you're engaging them, but it's also kind of, are you in there where people are feeling like they're engaged and, and they're playing in some ways? And recently did a retreat with, uh, first it was a senior team and then 40 people in a room and someone pulled me aside and said, man, you're making this fun. It's really great that, you know, you're sharing information, but it was fun being together. And and I think people remember what they feel more than what they hear and know. So if they feel engaged in the experience of being with others, as well as learning something in the process, I think that has much better chance of integrating into a place of sustainable change. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the third wave of psychedelics, subscribe to this channel and visit the thethirdwave.co where you'll find plenty of free resources on intentional and responsible psychedelic use.